Hello sports fans, it is Friday, May the 3rd, the year 2013, and as usual, a lot to get to in the sports world, so let's get it going right now. Before I give you my Kentucky Derby picks, let's go through some scores of note from last night, and let me just say, I still don't feel great. I mean, this has been the worst week of sickness I have ever had. I got sick last Saturday, it is now Friday, almost a week later, and I still feel terrible. Whatever I had, I don't wish it on anyone. Anyway, let's get to the NBA last night. Let's get to the Brooklyn-Chicago series, where Brooklyn evened up the series with Chicago. Three games apiece. Brooklyn goes into Chicago and beats the Bulls. How many guys, speaking of sickness, were out or playing hurt or playing, you know, with some sort of illness for Chicago? I mean, we know they don't have Derrick Rose still. Noah's out there limping around. Nate Robinson's playing sick, throwing up on the sidelines. Dang couldn't play at all because he was sick. Half the Bull roster had the flu. I mean, the Bulls were like the walking wounded. Next, uh, The Nets took full advantage, and the Nets beat Chicago last night to force a Game 7 back in Brooklyn. I mean, I give Chicago credit for even hanging around in this game. I thought the Nets were going to pull away early and just bury the Bulls. Chicago, like they always do, they hang around, they give you an effort, but the Nets down the stretch make the plays. I'll tell you, Blatch had a really nice game for the Nets, made some big buckets down the stretch, made some big free throws, and the Nets pull out the much-needed win, force a Game 7 back in Brooklyn, and I'll tell you, you have to like Brooklyn in Game 7 being at home and being with all this illness and injuries for Chicago. I mean, no Derrick Rose, no is hurt, Robinson's sick, dang sick. I didn't even mention Heinrich. He didn't play because he's hurt. I mean, the Bulls, half their roster is out. So, I mean, you have to like the Nets going uh, forward here in Game 7. I'm sure it won't be easy. Every single game in this series has been very competitive. Very, very exciting series. It's been back and forth. Very competitive series. Very interesting series with all the subplots and the injuries and who's sick and who's out. Very fascinating series. 3-3, back to uh, Brooklyn we go. I would say the Nets will win Game 7, but I would never count out the Bulls. They always bring a great effort, and Thibodeau is a tremendous uh, coach, so Brooklyn gets the win last night. Also last night, Golden State at home closed out Denver. Golden State wins uh, four games to two. Curry, a nice game, and once again, Golden State went on a big run in the third quarter, put this game away. Was a little surprised by this series. I mean, Denver was playing so well at the end of the year. I know they weren't a great road team, but they were so good at home. Losing Gallinari really hurt Denver. It really hurt them. They were not the same team after that. How about David Lee yesterday for Golden State? David Lee has a torn hip flex that was supposed to be out the whole playoffs. He comes back and plays last night. Great job by David Lee. By the way, the fans at Golden State are tremendous. Some of the best fans in all of basketball there in Oakland. They were decked out in their yellow, going crazy. What a nice atmosphere there in Golden State. So congratulations to the Warriors. They move on. Got to be a bit of a pill for uh, George Call and the Nuggets to swallow. I didn't think uh, they would lose this series. I mean, I'm sure they thought they would get through uh, Golden State. Golden State didn't play well the end of the season. They kind of stumbled and bumbled. But Golden State really played well in this series. And Bogart played well. The big man Bogart, he did some nice things in this series as well. So Golden State advances to the next round. That was your uh, NBA last night. As far as your NHL last night, the Washington Capitals with three goals in the second period beat the New York Rangers 3-1. Three, uh, three to one. Washington goes up 1-0. Washington's on fire. They are on absolute fire. They are a dangerous, dangerous team. They are peaking at the right time. Ovechkin is amazing. They're getting good goaltending. The coach has really done a nice job keeping it together there in Washington. They are flying right now. Very dangerous team. They go up 1-0 on the Rangers. Ottawa went into Montreal and beat the Canadians last night, so Ottawa's up 1-0. I'll tell you, I've said it all year, the Ottawa coach deserves so much credit. Lost so many of their top guys during the season, but they held it together, and here they are in the playoffs, and now they are leading one game to none. St. Louis uh, beat L.A. last night, so St. Louis is now up 2-0 in that series. They won the first game 2-1 in overtime. Last night they win 2-1. They score right at the end of the game. We figured it would be this type of series, 2-1 somebody. So far, St. Louis has had the advantage. It's funny, L.A. swept St. Louis out of the playoffs last year. St. Louis made major changes in the offseason, really paying off. They're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Kings now and getting the better of the play. St. Louis up 2-0, back to L.A. for Game 3. And also last night, Detroit went into Anaheim and beat the Ducks 
That series is tied 1-1. Detroit won in overtime last night, 5-4. Detroit had a huge lead in this game, let it slip away, but they do win in overtime. So that series is 1-1, back to Detroit. We go for game three. As far as your Major League Baseball last night, the Red Sox beat Toronto. Toronto is now 10-19. 10 and 19, Toronto is digging a big hole here. They might not be able to pull out of this hole. 10 and 19, that's awful. Uh, also, the story from the Red Sox, Buck Holtz is being accused of doctoring the baseball. Buck Holtz is having an amazing year this year, 6 and 0, like with a one earn run average. A lot of people are saying he's doctoring the ball. Of course, he denies it. We'll see where that story goes. Philadelphia beat the Marlins. We'll see if the Phillies can fatten up on a bad Marlins team. White Sox beat Texas. Nationals beat the Braves. Harper back in the lineup. Uh, Detroit beat Houston. St. Louis continues to roll. They beat Milwaukee. Baltimore beat the Angels. The Angels are 10 and 18. The Angels are reminding me like of Toronto. I mean, they're digging themselves a big hole. San Diego beat the Cubs, and the Royals and the Rays were rained out. So that was kind of some of your doings in Major League Baseball last night. As far as the Kentucky Derby, which is tomorrow. You gotta love the Kentucky Derby. It's very exciting. It's supposed to be a record crowd there tomorrow. Are they saying like 160 plus thousand, 170 thousand, something like that? I mean, you gotta love the Kentucky Derby. What we know about the Kentucky Derby is always some great stories with the jockeys and the trainers and the horses and the people with their outfits and the stands and the fancy hats. Really, really great event. Very exciting event. Here's what we also know about the Kentucky Derby. Very rarely does the favorite win. The favorite is Veronzo. I don't think he's going to win this race. I'm going to, here's my top four. I'm going to say fourth place, Baranzo gets uh, number four. I say he does not win. I say Orb finishes third. I say Normandy Invasion finishes second. And my choice to win the Kentucky Derby tomorrow, revolutionary with Calvin Burrell. Calvin Burrell looking for his fourth Kentucky Derby. Reason I like revolutionary, out of all the horses, he has the best turn in the stretch. I like the way he makes that turn in the stretch. I'm going to go revolutionary. I like the way he turns down the home stretch. I like Burrell. A lot of people don't like Burrell. He's won the Derby three times. Give him credit. I think he could get his fourth here tomorrow. He loves being close to the rail. He's going to be close to the rail tomorrow. So I'm going to go revolutionary to win the Kentucky Derby. I'm going to say revolutionary one, Normandy invasion two, or three. And I'm going to say the... Uh, Favorite, Veronzno, he gets fourth place. Favorite never seems to win the Kentucky Derby. Uh, so it should be a very fascinating race. I mean, you know you're going to get some big upset in there, too. Some wild horse out of nowhere is going to finish in the top four. We know that. You always get that in the Kentucky Derby. Should be a wild Kentucky Derby tomorrow. Should be a lot of fun. I'm going to go revolutionary with Calvin Burrell to win it tomorrow. All right, so that's your Kentucky Derby. As far as the weekend to watch, besides your Kentucky Derby, and you know you have the Mayweather uh, fight uh, tomorrow night as well. As far as your NBA tonight, Friday, you have the Knicks at Boston. Very fascinating series. The Knicks are up 3-2. to two. Game 6 in Boston. Boston trying to even that up. Uh, Indiana at Atlanta tonight. Indiana's up 3-2. to two. Uh, Game 6 in Atlanta here. And Oklahoma City up 3-2. Game 6 in Houston. So you have three teams tonight that are leading 3-2 to two that are playing on the road. The Knicks, the Pacers, and Oklahoma City all up 3-2, all playing on the road so the home team can tie it up and make it 3-3 tonight. So very fascinating basketball tonight. I mean, you don't know what's going to happen in these games. The Knicks are going to start to feel the pressure. How is Oklahoma City going to play without Westbrook? Indiana doesn't play uh, well on the road. A lot of fascinating storylines tonight in the NBA. As far as Saturday, uh, you have the big Chicago, Brooklyn, uh, game 7, that'll be in Brooklyn. Very nice, very nice game. I would expect Brooklyn to get through, considering uh, Chicago's the walking wounded now. And on Sunday, you're going to have your Game 7s, if there are any, from tonight's game. So if any of tonight's games go to a Game 7, they will be played on Sunday. So that's your NBA. As far as your NHL tonight, uh, tonight you have Ottawa at Montreal. That's Game 2. That's a back-to-back. -back. They have no day off in that series. You have Islanders, uh, Pittsburgh tonight. Pittsburgh, of course, leading 1-0 in that series. Minnesota at Chicago tonight. Chicago's up 1-0 in that series. And San Jose at Vancouver. San Jose up 1-0 in that series. As far as Saturday, you have the Rangers, Washington. You have Game 2 between Toronto, Boston. Boston's up 1-0. You have Game 3 between Anaheim, Detroit. That series is 1-1. And you have Game 3 between St. Louis, L.A., 
uh, St. Louis up 2-0 there. And as far as Sunday, you have Pittsburgh Islanders, Chicago, Minnesota, Montreal, Ottawa, and Vancouver, San Jose. Those would all be game threes as they switch cities. So that's kind of where you are as far as your sports. Oh, I'm sorry, Major League Baseball. Here's the series for Major League Baseball. Don't want to leave Major League Baseball out. Here's your series for Major League Baseball over the weekend. Cincinnati at the Cubs, Minnesota at Cleveland, Oakland at the Yankees, that's a nice series. Miami at Philadelphia. Washington at Pittsburgh, that's an underrated series. Seattle at Toronto. Mets at Atlanta. Boston at Texas, very nice series. White Sox at Kansas City. St. Louis at Milwaukee. Detroit at Houston. Tampa Bay at Colorado. Baltimore at the Angels. We'll see if the Angels can get it together. Arizona at San Diego. And the Dodgers and the San Francisco Giants renew their rivalry out in San Francisco. So, so that's kind of where you guys are. You guys are all caught up. Thanks for bearing with me this week. I am a complete mess. Not myself today. Been a little choppy uh, this week with my sports. I mean, I've tried my best, but it's hard to talk. I'm just having a really difficult time. So I apologize for that. You guys, thanks for the support. Thanks for tuning in. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy all the games over the weekend. You got your NBA playoffs. You got your NHL playoffs. You got your Major League Baseball. You got your Kentucky Derby. And you got your boxing tomorrow night. So you got a lot of stuff to watch. Also, a new movie out today, Iron Man 3. We'll see if that's any good. Once you get to the third one, that's dangerous territory. I, I read one review on it. They gave it two and a half stars out of four. That's not too bad. We'll see if Iron Man 3 is any good. That's playing in your theaters today as well. So you guys, stay safe. Enjoy the games. Hopefully I'll be better and back to my uh, normal self by Monday. I will talk to you guys on Monday. We'll recap everything that went on this weekend. You guys, enjoy your weekend. Enjoy the games. Thanks for the support. I'll talk to you Monday. Take care.